Hiya guys, so let's have a look at what the Daily Fail says today. Boris Johnson admits his new Covid marshals won't be able to arrest people or issue fines and can be volunteers. <laughs> volunteers, yeah right, fuck off. Fucking volunteers, a Covid marshal. Fucking Covid marshal. You know, marshal, marshals, marshal law. Same thing. As baffled police say they have no idea what their role is. Look at these clowns. Thinking they have authority by wearing a yellow jacket. And get fucked. Boris Johnson's new army of Covid secure marshals are out in force today. Those in the new roles will be recruited by councils to step up enforcement. There is confusion on how wide rate, how wide their remit will be and what powers they'll have. I mean, they'll get more powers, obviously, as time goes on and the fucking lockdown happens. So new new army of COVID secure marshals, marshals guys, are in force. Boris Johnson, Johnson much de derided COVID marshals are already up and running in towns across the UK. But critics have been left baffled by the new role entails. In his downbeat address to the nation last night, the cunt <laughs> announced his new ro new army of, co of BS19 secure marshals will be out in force to catch anyone breaking the rules. So we've got fucking Boris's little uh, playground snitch now on the streets. But Ken Marsh, I mean, what a fucking joke, right? Marsh, like Ken Marsh, like Marshall. Chairman of the Metropolitan Police Federation said rank and files, file officers have been left absolutely baffled by what the marshals will actually do. The marshals will have no formal power to make an arrest and must be paid for by local authorities. That's only the beginning. But I tell you what, they'll have more authority, I'd say. <laughs> well, they'll make them have more authority in the next month or two when, you know, the second wave comes. And it's dangerous and everyone's got to do as they're told, otherwise they'll end up dying in the streets. They will break up groups of more than six in town centres. Here we go, they can do that now. They have the authority to break up six in town centres. So if, if you're in more than, if you're in a group of more than six people, I mean, five people's fine, you know, but when you get to six or seven, two more people, it's deadly as hell. You know, you've got to stay away <laughs> in town centres, but must alert police if fines need to be handed out. So here we go, we've got the town centre snitches are involved. That's what it is. It's only the beginning, guys, this. It's going to get more crazy, more rights taken away from us. Because if they don't actually have any powers, you know what Joe Public will do very quickly when the stick is needed to be wielded. Then you have the ability to be wielded it. The marshals will be recruited by councils to step up enforcement, patrolling town centres and shopping centres. There's no, there's no COVID-19, guys. It doesn't exist, right? This is about control now, right? We all know that COVID-19 is not real, right? So that when we take that away, why are they doing this? Well, the answer is it's about control. So yeah, they're going to be rewrited by the county councils to uh, be snitches and have more control over people in the town centres, spying on them. The PM warned they will check up on pubs and wrestle. Oh, fucking hell, here we go. To make sure social distancing rules have been followed. So they'll be checking in fucking pubs and restaurants as well. Oh, so you're, you're, you know, talking to a mate in a restaurant or you're sitting too close to someone. Oh, can you just move down that way? You're a bit too close. Policing how, where, you know, what people do in restaurants. Absolute fucking joke. Look at me, I have the great authority in my fucking cool glasses. I'm the law, because I wear a fucking yellow jacket, even though you probably have no experience in your fucking life, you horrible bastard. Look at me, I'm so happy and young. I have authority. Come on, mate, take that fucking yellow jacket off. Go, you know, go do some good.
Boris Johnson, you're a fucking prick, mate. Pubs and restaurants will face £1,000 fines if they fail to collect contact details of customers. So now you've got to give your contact details in about this fucking track and trace program. You know, so they know where, where you've been. So now they're going to know where you've been, where, you know, what restaurant you've been to, what pub you've been to, and they're going to collect that data of everywhere you've been. And it's only eventually it'll be shops as well. This is only the beginning, guys, of something big. Those breaking the rules can expect £100 fines from the police. No, fuck off, mate. It's an absolute joke, guys. It's here. Absolute joke. The Prime Minister told everyone yesterday if we fully understand it. No, I don't fucking understand it. You're a dirty person, Boris Johnson. Perverse. A perverse thing to do is this. Prime Minister told press conference on Wednesday the marshals would boost in local enforcement capacity as an announced new rules designed to slow the spread of the bullshit. It's only going to continue the bullshit. Maybe actually it will slow it down. So people will probably wake up to this fucking tyranny that's going on. This is only the beginning, guys. You know, daily fail. Thanks, guys.